Because we know that you've been bubbling up so far under and ready to explode. Mm -hmm. You're like a piece of popcorn ready to go boo! Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, cool, You're ready man. to explode. Thank you. Okay. Jesse McCartney. Mm -hmm. Explain who you are. <laughs> I've never heard of him. Okay? Okay. Well, um, I'm about to turn 21 next month. I, uh, I live in L.A. been there for about four years now, and I just got my own place. And uh, the last couple years, I've been in the studio doing a lot of writing just um, and with a lot of amazing people a lot of a lot of a gamers too in this kind of rhythmic r&b world and uh... i uh... recorded this album it's called departure um, you know it, it a lot of the content has is actually my relationship with women and and kind of being with them without them haven't really decided what i like best yet but um, uh... yeah it's 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 definitely digs into a lot of the things that I go through at my age, uh, especially with women, but it's, uh, I wrote this record basically for, uh, people of my contemporary, 21, 20 years old, um, uh, you know, so that it's accessible for people my age to kind of understand. Well, you've always kind of done that, right? Yeah, it's like I mean, at the same time, I mean, exactly, I mean, you kind of go through, you know, I, I went through a whole stage of, what I like to call it musical puberty, where you kind of like, you go through <laughs> your own little, like, stage of of uh you know your own stage and people kind of move on and and his albums now have hair yeah my albums now yeah have hair and they've dropped a little bit well one of our big one of our big gripes is like a 14 year old singer singing i've been hurt by so many men before we go wait right well yeah i mean i <laughs> it's it's definitely um it's you can uh, you'll be able to hear the growth i mean it's it's something that i've been working on for a, a long time and um, I'm very proud of it, and the first single that we're that we're um, that we're leading out with is called Leaving, uh, which kind of ties into this whole aviation theme of this album that I have going on. And it was produced, uh, written and produced by Tricky and the Dream, which I'm sure you guys you know yeah. know they they had a huge last year. Uh, they won the Grammy for Rihanna's Umbrella, and uh, I flew down to Vegas and and uh, recorded it at the Palms Hotel, which was incredible. And at a hotel. Yeah, it was. It was. They have an amazing studio. That's where Britney Spears did a little bit of her stuff. The too, Palms, I'd say. Yeah, a lot of the yeah. Palms not have. They got a room with a basketball court. They in. have you know? pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty incredible. But Jesse, let's talk to the people that know you. Yeah, yeah. All right, you had a 1.5 million selling album when you were 16 years old. We knew that. Right. Called Beautiful Soul that puts you on a map with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now we've had a lot of people sitting right where you are that try to go from point A, which is teen sensation, mm -hmm. to point B, which is serious artist. And you're going to walk across that bridge, and you're going to have some stumbles. How, what's your plan for crossing that bridge? Well, man, I, I mean, to, to be honest with you, I've kind of been, uh, you know, I, I've been lining up the ducks for the last year and a half and just kind of getting everyone on board and, and uh, as far as...